Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be my hair routine. Actually, this is very highly requested. Everybody asks me about my shampoo, my hair routine, you know, how I take care of my hair and I thought I'd just share with you guys. Okay, without any further ado, let's get it started. Actually, maybe I'm a boring person. I don't change my hair care that, that much and I have maybe two, three different shampoo and I just keep using those. First, before I start talking about my shampoo, I talk about my hair. If you guys following me for a while, you know I had a very healthy, long hair. And one of the reason I think because always I, I didn't use heat, I didn't blow dry my hair, I didn't dye my hair and for a long time, always actually. And then two years ago, I decided to go blonde. And not just I, you know, from that very dark hair going to blonde, you just need to do it gradually. But I was rushing or I didn't have a good hairdresser. My mistake was almost even not two months, five times I bleached my hair and I damaged my whole hair. And it was so hard for me. Somebody never, you know, I took a shower, I came out, my hair was so healthy and easy. I didn't do anything. But after my hair got damaged, oh my gosh, when I came out of the shower, my hair was unbelievable bad. I, actually, even inside, you know, when I was washing my hair, I didn't know how I have to handle that. Any hair conditioner mask didn't help me. Anyway, I decided to cut all my hair. My, my hair was long anyway I cut it almost to here and I decided to gradually you know I stopped uh, bleaching my hair gradually you know it just took my hair getting better I cut it almost I think year and a half ago and it still is not that long and I don't mind it for you know long or short actually I mind it because my hair always was long and I used to it and uh, but I know short hair is maybe easy to take care of and more, you know, make you look younger and fresh. But I used to long hair and I really miss it. But not just that, I'm just not comfortable because it's still my hair damage and still I have this much left, I have to cut it. But I'm gonna go easy with it. I'm gonna go gradually because I don't wanna again make it very short. Every few months, I just a little bit cut my hair. Anyway, for the shampoo, the shampoo I'm using right now, I'm sorry, I brought all of this from the shower, if not that clean. I get, I use this shampoo, and for everything, I'm gonna put link below. I use this shampoo and conditioner. I was watching last week, last year, and some is some video I don't remember who was it they recommend this shampoo and I love it it's very good I don't use the conditioner all the time but for the shampoo almost I wash my hair one or two times a week and at least I can say two times a month I use the shampoo and maybe once a month I use conditioner but any sort of conditioner I use some hair mask I will show you that Anyway, this is one of the shampoo I use. Another shampoo I use, and I highly recommend it, this brand, Oribe. I don't want to, you know, butcher the name, but I love this shampoo and conditioner. My conditioner almost finished, but the shampoo is still, I have it. Usually I get the big size, and I have it for a while. This is Repair and Restore shampoo. I highly recommend this. I really like it. A little bit pricey, but you know, um, I don't use it that much. And I actually purchased this a long time ago. I think over 10 months ago and it still is full. Anyway, this is another shampoo I use and I love it. Another one is this one, Caritas. I don't, again, for sure I'm gonna, I pronounce it wrong, but I love this. I'm sure lots of you guys, you're familiar with that, has a hair oil, I, I use that actually sometimes, I, I, not recently, I used to use it. This shampoo is very good too, I really like it. I will put link below exactly the one I use. This is a very good one too. And as I mentioned, I don't use uh, 
conditioner all the time. I just wash my hair two times and then rinse it very good. And then I use this um, mask. I use this mask and instead of using the um, conditioner, I leave, uh, you just put a little bit in my hair and I leave it maybe for a few minutes and then I brush it and rinse it. Sometimes if I'm gonna go out and I wanna blow dry it, I use two different um, masks. First I use this, I leave it for a few minutes and then I use this one. I love this. I got lots of different of this, you know, as you, for sure you guys are familiar, Sephora, they have it. I got lots of different one, but this one, the best, best one, it's so far. This is actually, this is the third one I'm getting it. I cannot read it, I don't have my glasses, but I'm gonna put link below. I love this, and I especially this smell, I really love this. And this is the other one. This is the one always I use in it. This, just a little bit of it is more than enough. I use these two, and then when I uh, wash and rinse my hair, I'm come out of the shower. I have few different hair products. I'm sure all of you guys, you have it because you know, usually we guys, we buy a lot and never using it. All of this I have, but I don't use it all the time. One of them is uh, this one. It's not bad. When I come out, I just put a little bit of this, okay, living conditioner. This one, I like this one. I almost finished this one. This is the second one I purchased. I put a little bit of this in my hair when my hair is wet, and then I blow dry it or whatever. This one too, actually, I like this one too. Uh, same thing. I just put a little bit in my hair and I blow one of these, or or this oil. Always I pronounce it wrong. Lopalex, Lopalex, Lopalex. Anyway, <laughs> I put, uh, when I'm coming coming out of, for example, today I put this one. I came out of the shower, my hair was wet, and then I just put two drops for this side and two drops for this side, and then after that I just blow dry my hair. Uh, as far as the brush, I use some very cheap brush. I got it from, I think, Marshalls, and I love it. Always I using something like that. And then I have this brush. I really like it. I got this. I hope I didn't break it. No. I got this a uh, few years ago from uh, Neiman Marcus. And I love it. It's so cute. I got actually a few of these. Let's see how cute is that? Anyway, and then when my hair is dry, if I want to brush it, I use this one. One of the problem I had after my hair got damaged and I cut it, I didn't know what to do with my hair. I put it back, it wasn't nice, and then anytime I, want, I was going to go out, I didn't have any confidence. And each time I had to go to beauty salon to make it time to go sit there, to they just... It's something about the beauty salon I don't feel comfortable. Some people, they say, oh, that is their their time, they enjoying it, it's like a spa. Today go, they, you know, somebody wash their hair or blow dry it. For me, sometimes, yes, but if coming to weekly, I just, I don't like it, I don't enjoy that. Plus, I don't want it every week, I go spend, you know, $200 or $100, you know, for my hair to just wash it and blow dry it. I, I was very upset about that and I wasn't comfortable and wasn't convenient anytime I want to go out and just running, running, make appointment, go here, go there, you know, to they, uh, to dry my hair. Finally, one of my friends, she recommended this Dyson hair dryer and I got this, oh my gosh, lifesaver. I have another Dyson, but that is one of just the hair dryer and in order to blow dry my hair, Somebody has to hold it for me and then I, you know, brush it and it wasn't easy for me. And I'm, as I mentioned, always because I didn't do so much with my hair and always I got used to, you know, I'm coming out of shop, it came out of shower, my hair was long and easy. I just put it off or just a little bit play with it and after that was fine. 
And when I got to the point, you know, my hair damaged and I had to blow dry, it wasn't easy for me. And I wasn't good to doing it by myself, just blow dry my hair. Somebody had to hold the dryer. Anyway, that wasn't easy. And then when my friend, she told me about this, oh my gosh, I love it. Let me assure you. I brought it like that, just I had it in my uh, bathroom. And it has a lot of different, um, what is that called? Heather, I'm sorry, I still hair on it. And lots of different one. And this is the one. I used to love using my other Dyson hair dryer. I just use this. You put the different, what is that called? I don't know, Heather's. Uh, first, I use this one and I just, and very easy for me. As I said, I, I'm not good with that. I'm not one of those people I can you know, blow dry my hair and you know, this is very easy. I use this when my hair dry and all done and then use one of these and just make it curly. Actually, now I did it maybe a few hours ago. It's not good right now, but it's so easy for me. At least it's not looked freezy, crazy, and I don't need to go to beauty salon. And hopefully my hair getting longer, uh, getting better. As far as the color, my hair, maybe I was lucky. I started to having gray hair maybe around, I was 45. And lots of my friends are using those colors, but for some reason wasn't good for me. I don't know. I started to using this um, color from the pharmacy. And just the, these two sides of my face, I had it great I started coloring this and that was the reason because I wasn't familiar and I just keep getting dark hair color my my natural hair wasn't that dark and I started using very very dark gradually as you know when you dye in it gradually you know coming come down and my whole hair was very dark and the time I started to bleaching my hair it was very hard to Get rid of that dark dark hair that was the reason and plus they said that color those colors are not that good quality that's why damage my hair and they keep bleaching it to get rid of that dark color but now since i cut my hair and i try to taking care of it i try to use a better color the beauty salon i go they're very good and actually i asked the lady and she gave me, I bought the color and now at home I'm using it. Let me bring you the color. Um, I'm not sure. I got it from my beauty salon. I'm sure Amazon or everywhere they have it. This is the brand. I really like it. She gave me two different color. Gave me seven and this is 8.11. I just mixed these two and coming is not that dark and not light, it's just very, very natural color. And I just color my roots. And I love this color. And um, it's not drying my hair. But this is the two. But I don't know where you can buy it because I got it from my hairdresser. That's all. That's all I use for my hair. And if you guys you have any question please put down below definitely i will get back to you and i will link everything i use for my hair down below if you guys are interested and you want to try and maybe my next video i just because lots of you guys you ask me about my skincare and i will share my skincare with you guys thank you so much for watching have a good day or night bye